What's up guys, Chunky C here. Uh, I was just watching some YouTube videos. I'm on uh, vacation and just lounging around the house trying to relax after a long year. We've uh, we've been busy this year. You guys know you haven't seen me post a lot of videos. I'm gonna do a little video and show you what we've been up to. Um, but yeah, I was just on YouTube and I ran across some videos, one in particular that just blew my mind. It was, it was I just, I couldn't believe it took place and I just had to make a video of it. I'm just using my cell phone here. I hope the quality and the video and the audio, everything is, is pretty good, but I'm not going to call out this YouTuber, uh, cause he's got a lot of followers. Uh, he's got a pretty good channel. Uh, most of his videos are really entertaining, but I watched a video of him flying his big horn and he crashed his big horn. So I, you know, I, I'm like, Oh no, the guy crashed his big horn. Let me watch his video. And right out of the gate, when he set the plane down, the tail surfaces, the elevator and rudder just started going bonkers. They just, it just started twitching, going crazy. The whole back of the plane sitting there just making a fuss. So I thought that was going to be the end of the video. No, this guy proceeds to just ignore it and act like it's nothing, you know, like, oh, it was just me bumping the sticks or something. And I'm watching it and I'm like, mm, buddy, no, you got some serious issues going on right there. So he proceeds to taxi out to take off, literally gets about eight feet away and his radio starts going ballistic. He starts getting critical telemetry and signal, uh, signal loss uh, warnings. And he just laughs about it, blows it off, and takes off anyway. He flies around a couple of passes. And, well, wouldn't you know it, the plane just basically falls out of the air. Now, he said he stalled it. I read the comments, and the comments is what blew my mind. He had a lot of comments on there from his followers and people watching the video. Everybody that... <laughs> oh my goodness everybody their comments were all sympathetic oh my god i can't believe that happened to you i'm so sorry for your plane crash and this i only saw a handful of comments of people ask the question dude what were you thinking why did you even take that plane off and that's when when he took off in the air my eyes popped and i was like what in the world is this guy doing man he is taking off his plane knowing that he has signal issues so like I said, plane crash. I read the comments. I got a laugh out of it, but I just wanted to drop this video to tell you guys, man, use some common sense. If you put your plane out there and you're getting ready to take off and you see something that looks slightly out of the ordinary or your tail surfaces or your control surfaces are going weird, man, just stop and just take a look, figure out what's going on. Um, if you're getting interference, figure it out. Uh, you know, it's always better to to just stop, pack the plane away, carry it home, uh, try to duplicate the problem. If you can't duplicate the problem at home, then take it back out at the field. Uh, get some folks to help you with it. Do a range check. Always do safety checks. Uh, you know, make sure all your servos are tight, your control rods and everything, your surfaces, hinges are still, uh, you know, glued intact and everything's good to go. But by all means, man, do not, golly, do not fly a plane if there's any doubt that you might have some kind of problem with it or else your fate is going to wind up like this guy. But the, like I said, the video was, you know, it is what it is, but the comments, the people just were acted like nothing. He did nothing wrong whatsoever. And that just absolutely blew my mind. And that just really made me think of the lack of education in the hobby maybe or maybe it's not so much that as people just don't really give a crap they're just you know throw it in the air do whatever you want to do and then they want to complain when they have a crash but i just want to go on that little rant and share it with you guys and it's been a while since i've been on here so i'm gonna put up a little video i'm still working on that but uh hopefully 2024 it's still going to be real busy for us because we're getting ready to build a house that's part of the video coming up but uh Hopefully, if weather permitting, I'm going to get out on uh, this little vacation that I got here and uh, do some flying maybe on New Year's if it's not a hurricane winds like they're 
saying it's going to be, it's not really going to be hurricane winds. It's going to be 15, 20 mile an hour gusts. But anyway, I hope everybody had a good Christmas and I hope everybody has a wonderful new year. Stay safe. If you're going to drink, don't drive. And we'll see you in 2024. Peace out.